It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th to the 13th. So, yeah, let's see what comes up. Keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, and I'm going to tag the September reading to the end of this if you haven't seen the monthly reading. Anyhow, um... Sagittarius. What I saw, okay, when I, before I turned the camera on, was the sun card. So the sun is great health. It's freedom. It's happiness. It's uh, healing, okay? I feel as though you're going through a period of healing. You may have a new beginning here. You Maybe you're breaking free from something. You're, you're going after something more lighthearted, you know. Uh, maybe you've become enlightened. Okay, it feels like you just are going to be yourself. This is going to be, I mean, I don't know what's going to come up in these cards. We're going to find out in a minute, but I saw the sun. The sun is free, happy, uh, new, a new you. Okay, so let's just see what we got. Better health. Life-giving energy. It's a period of growth for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? This is all about being happy. So this week you have to do what you need to do to be happy. What is going to make you happy, Sagittarius? If you need to break free from something, then that's what you need to do. Ooh, this is reversed. This is actually good. In reverse. This is the moon reverse. What's the opposite of the moon, the sun? This is seeing the light. And this is absolute. This is basically the sun in reverse. Seriously. So this is from darkness to light. So if you have been in a dark period, you're going to start. You're coming out of it. You're coming out of it. And now we got spiritual strength on the bottom. You are. And the sun is about spiritual growth, spiritual strength, spiritual enlightenment. I feel as though this week you've been in a dark place. This is the moon. Okay. So the moon in reverse is coming out. It's coming out of that dark place. It's seeing the truth, revealing the truth, uh, releasing fear, stepping into unknown territory, stepping into a, a better uh, happier time. So thank you, Lord. Thank the Lord. Seriously. So what do we have for Sagittarius? I see better health. You may be recovering from some sort of addiction. You may be on the path to recovery. I mean, that is the moon reverse. If you had some addictions, perhaps you're, you're managing them. Um, be careful though. Be careful, because I feel like there's still some sort of fear here. You, you may be very afraid. Just may, I mean, i got to be honest with you. It's almost like afraid of the dark. Oh, my God. I can't make this shit up, even if I tried. I can't. It's just the way it is. <laughs> I don't know if you've been in some sort of hostile situation, but that may be coming to an end as well. Something is going on here where you are, it's almost like you're ascending. This is truly from darkness to light. I mean, I can't, there are no words for this change. This is extreme happiness. This is free from darkness. It is. It is. This is free from a dark period. You may have been deceiving yourself because the, the moon reversed is self-deception. But this is accepting reality. And this is a card of acceptance as well. So you are removing yourself from a deep, dark place. Stepping into better times. Freedom. Okay, joy, happiness, a warm place, being accepted, great health. I mean, this is vibrating at a very high level. Okay? This is a oneness. You see, notice the one? You, ha you, ha whatever. 
I'm speechless. This is a beautiful light. This is a life-giving energy. It's a major change. This is a breakthrough. This is very positive. This is a beautiful week for you by the looks of things. It's a week of change. You are definitely stepping out of a dark world, per se. You've become enlightened. Your life is changing for the better. And it's because I think you make a decision of some sort. You decide to do your own thing. And I think that fear has been holding you back or some sort of codependency. Perhaps, you know, one is a number of independence. It's not two. Two is a couple. One is one. I'm going to do what's right for me. So you have a very positive change that is coming. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. You could be. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Let's get these all correct. You could be dealing with anybody, but wherever you've been, it's been dark. And you've been and you've been staying in that situation. There's been a lot of illusion, there's been fantasy, there's been self-denial, addictions, codependencies, addictions, food, whatever. Addicted to another person. I see you breaking free though. Whatever it is, you're breaking free from an addiction. Ooh. Forces working against you. There are some forces working against you. Could be anger. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Quill. Get back to the basics. And maybe that's what you're doing. September. This is a huge month for you. It's a month of change. Positive change. Uh, don't try to go overboard. Don't take any risks. Do not take any risks. In, in Sagittarius. I know you like to take risks. This is not a time to take risks. Okay? If you do... You know, it will go against you. I'm just saying, it will. Don't take any big risks. This is about your health. It is about your happiness. You are on the path to a glorious new beginning, a beautiful life. But you can't do things the same way you were doing them. And you've got to be awake. Okay? Make sure that you are awake. You don't go back to that deep, dark place that you've been going. September's your big month. It's your month of, of positive change. Don't try to go overboard. And you know, when you take risks, you're obviously doing something that you're not comfortable with. Okay? Get back to the basics. Just do the basics. Okay? Do do your basics. Don't go overboard. Okay? Don't don't try to overextend yourself, put it that way. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? You have some sort of now, there could be some addiction, because this is an addiction. It's a mental imbalance of some sort working against you. And it could just simply be codependency. And this is a reality check is needed. Make sure you're in reality. All is not as it seems. There, there is something working against you. Truth, not accepting the truth. Ah, Ace of Cups, Seven of Oh, your choices play a part. Your you your choices. There's consequences for making poor choices. There is. No, oh, King of Pentacles reversed. So there's. Uh, Insecurity here, instability. We're just going to get the rest of the cards real quick. Mm. You have to change your ways. You definitely have to change your ways. And you know, it's not, change isn't easy. 
this is about needing to look at things from a new perspective and let go stop stop wasting your time you can't waste any more time this is somebody who doesn't learn from their mistakes the overall energy is the five of wands you're fighting a battle right now you are definitely fighting a battle and i feel like it's a difficult one I do feel like it's a difficult one. You have an opportunity for love, okay? That is self-love. It is, and this is self-love as well. So you have to love yourself. You have to treat yourself with compassion, okay? Uh, this is about happiness, an overflood of emotion or overflowing emotion this week. I feel like you will be working with somebody, a professional perhaps. You may be getting some sort of professional advice from somebody, somebody that really, really cares. Some of you may have, I don't know, not everybody, so don't get your all worked up. Somebody may have a drinking problem that's getting it under control. Here we have the sun reversed. Make sure you make positive choices. This is negative having regrets. Some of you may have a relapse and you may regret it. Be careful with your choices this week. Be really careful because you could end up with some sort of regrets. Now, the hangman reversed is refusing to let go. Refusing, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, uh, which is causing you to miss an opportunity. An opportunity for happiness. I think that you have an opportunity for happiness here if you can make the right choice. So you're going to be presented with an option. Okay, an option, a choice. You've been repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. And it's been being, it's caused a huge struggle in your life. You've been wasting time. You've been wasting time probably with somebody that, you know, is ruthless. The King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is ruthless. This person um, is lazy, you know. They don't want to commit or they're not very committed. Um, they make poor financial decisions. I feel as though... Uh, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a narcissist. The Knight of Cups in the same lineup, this whole lineup. I'm, I don't know, you could be dealing with a narcissist. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that um, is very, very controlling. Maybe you're deal this person has a big ego and you're feeding it. You're feeding the ego. Uh, there's definitely some sort of abuse here, whether it's sex, drug, alcohol, codependency, whatever. There's some sort of abuse here. And I feel like you need to get it under control. And I think that you are on the path. I think that you are on the path to recovery. But, and whether it's whether it's that kind of an addiction or it's a codependency, codependent relationship. I don't know what it is, but it's time for you to definitely get back to the basics. Make a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Accept reality. You know, if, the, if you know, you have, sometimes we make poor decisions because we repeat the same patterns in our life until we know our value. Perhaps you didn't know your value and you're going to keep repeating the same lesson until you do. Okay. Um, anyhow, so I feel like this week you are going to be, you may be fighting with somebody. You may be battling with somebody. Um, I think you are dealing with somebody that is very competitive with you. They compete with you for some reason. They like to compete with you. Um, you may have feelings for this person, but I don't think it's compatible. I don't think it's compatible. I think whoever you are dealing with is pretty cold. I feel like they... Um, cause you a lot of stress and they don't make you happy okay they don't make you happy this is stress not happy cold and it's like this relationship isn't growing so I, well, I don't know who you're who you're with I don't know it could be a father figure it could be somebody that uh, is very stern whoever this person is stern once their mind is made up their mind is made up and you can't get them to budge and it's very frustrating so you're dealing with somebody that really frustrates you. And really, there's no growth. There's a relationship that has no growth. And I feel like you need to uh, do what's right for you, okay? You deserve to be happy. And I think you're going to get some sort of a wake. This is a wake-up call of some sort. Enlightenment. I think maybe even in a dream. You may have a dream 
that tells you that, you know, you need to make a better choice, that you need to choose another option, that this isn't real, you know, this isn't real love. You, you maybe get a message or uh, something in a dream or a sign or something. I feel as though you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces or a Cancer even a Scorpio. You could even be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Pisces a couple times. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I do feel as though uh, you may, there could be a third party situation here. Whoever you're dealing with could be communicating with somebody else, okay? Uh, they could be, and they're hiding it very well. There's something that is hidden here that is about to be revealed, okay? Because this is some, this is something being hidden. This one is too. So some, something is about to be revealed um, that is going to make you feel conflicted. And I think you may even feel com very stressed out over whatever this is. Some you may be dealing with somebody that is exploring their options. Okay, and you find out about it. I don't know what is going on, but whoever you are dealing with is uh, very. I think this person is hard to deal with. I feel like this person is hard to deal with. They are very stern. Um, they're detached. They're cold. Um, and they're not making you happy. I mean, this, this this is not making you happy. But the happiness lies within you. So I feel like you are emerging from a dark place with whoever it is that you have been dealing with. I think there's going to be a fight over communication with somebody else. That's what it, what it is. There's a third party here. And I feel like this third party is causing problems whether it's a family member or whoever it is there's somebody here that that is causing problems and it's gonna there's gonna be a fight of some sort um i feel like it's gonna be very emotional i think that you may even cry you may cry because you feel like this isn't fair you know why are you treating me like this you know i love you that kind of thing you may even say those words anyhow um i think that there's other options that you have been ignoring but I think that this week you are going to start exploring those other options yourself. Once you realize that the person that you are dealing with is exploring other options. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you've, you, you've been confused. Okay? You've been in a state of confusion. And it's caused you a lot of anxiety. And I think deep down, deep down, you're having, especially at night. At night time, you know, when the sun goes down, when the sun goes down, you are feeling uh, extremely stressed out at night. During the day, you know, when life is busy and things are going on, you're able to, you know, forget about it and go about your day. But as night falls, it gets very stressful for you because I feel like you, you're in some sort of rocky relationship with somebody. And it's almost like you're, you're stuck there, but you're not really stuck there. Okay. I feel like uh, you've been wasting a lot of time sacrificing yourself with whoever this person is. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is always trying to teach you something. It's like they got to teach you. They got to teach you. And you're like, you, you don't need to be taught. Okay. I don't think you need to be taught. But whoever, I think, I don't know if you're with a narcissist or what. It feels like you are. This could be a father figure or somebody that, I feel like it's a masculine and I could be wrong. Um, we have mostly men here, okay? So that's the way I feel. Anyhow, it could be wrong, though. I feel as though... Uh, you, towards the middle of the week, you are going to regret something towards the middle of the week. You're going to regret uh, doing something uh, that you shouldn't have done. Because I think you're gonna, you're, there's some sort of addiction here. There's some sort of addiction that gets you in trouble. And I feel like it's almost like a relapse. And you get, it's almost like uh, this person, whoever you're dealing with, gets the authorities involved or the authorities do get involved. I don't know what is going on, but it looks as though there's going to be some massive regrets here. Okay. Um, but there's also freedom because that sun card is freedom. I think that you're going to be broken free from this person, but I don't think that it's going to be your choice. Do you know what I mean? Because it feels like you can't choose. It feels like you can't choose. It feels like you just keep repeating, 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 repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Maybe this other person is making the choice for you. Could be even a professional, somebody that is in a professional uh 
position. There's, there's, there's poor health here. There is some poor health here. And we have somebody here that has abused their, uh, I don't know, may, may even be at the job, okay? You know, they may have stolen something and they get caught. There could be a team, the people, three people working as a team to, you know, expose something. It feels like there's going to be some sort of exposure this week. I do feel as though you're going to do something, you're going to make a poor decision. I feel like you're going to make a poor decision and you are absolutely positively going to regret it. Um... But I also feel like you are going to, whatever this, but it's, it, at the moment, it may feel like it was a poor decision. And yeah, it probably was. But this breaks you free from this cycle that you have been going through. You know what I'm saying? I think you've been trying to sweep problems under the rug. Okay, you've just been trying to hide it. You know, you've been trying to hide this, these problems, everything's okay. There's been an element of fantasy and illusion and you can't hide it. I think you have been struggling to let go of something that you have been hanging on to. Or you're dealing with somebody that's been struggling to let go of you. But I feel like there is freedom this week. This is freedom. It's freedom from something that is not good for you. Period. There is some sort of truth that is going to be revealed. Whatever this truth is that gets revealed helps you. It helps you to get healthy. However that resonates with you. It helps you to heal. It's a real blessing. So be prepared to uh, deal with some sort of negative behavior that has been ignored. You will be broken free from this. But you need this help. It is time for you to get back to the basics. There may be somebody working against you. But this person is going to be the one that helps you break free. Good luck.